Welcome back. It's Friday. Today we're going to do an update with the vlog. The B-17 vlog. V-log. Let's get started. So today is Friday and Stormworks did have an update. It is some new helicopter rotors and uh, they add torque and you can stack them on top of each other. Pretty cool. I'm sure the helicopter people will be happy. Uh, you're probably going to want to check out Mr. Jersey's channel if you want to see something about those. I'm not going to be covering them. I'm just going to be doing the B-17 vlog number two, a V-log, V-E-E-L-O-G. So let's go ahead and see what's happening with it and, uh, you know, where we're at. Because we're getting close to finished, but we're not quite there. So let's go ahead and zoom in Woo! and take a look from the ground level. So we've got lots of ugliness going on. It looks like this B-17 actually went through a war and we're patching it and putting it back together. So what's new here? Well, we've got, I don't know what we did last, but we've got the flaps working. I don't know if we had that before. We've got the ball turret in place and working mostly. We've got the wheels working and going up into the nacelles. Uh, what else do we have? We have the gun, the turret set up. Uh, this is a B-17F turret, so probably going to update this later, but for right now it's F turret. Uh, and then we're going to go inside here and check out what we have hooked up. So we still haven't hooked up the APU properly. And then back here, in order to get in and get out, we have the ability to kind of get into the seat. And because you couldn't get out of the seat, when you let go, it will flip over and allow you to get out. So that is cool. We did that. Uh, oh, we fixed the rudder. The rudder now turns with the, uh, the air surface. So we do have a left and right. And so that's cool which means I got to keep my tail out here. I got to keep the big tail. So I'm happy about that, yay. So let's go ahead and hit the cockpit. Oh no, let's hit the ball turret. So the ball turret is still a work in progress, but uh, you can get in and get out. We have the oxygen tank. And uh, yeah, this isn't quite done yet, but it's a work in progress. We've got the new radio set up and not hooked up to power apparently. And then we've got the bomb bay starting to come together and then we have this wonderful thing looking lovely and working so we're going to check this out today that's going to be the main feature we're going to check out uh we do have this kind of working it's not quite ready yet but you know we've got that we've got the up and down so that's starting to come together but uh not quite done and then we have of course our cockpit which for the the most part is actually starting to come together and have all things that it needs. I don't know what we're doing with these prop pitch settings. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do with those throttles. So you can see where your throttles are in your prop pitch. That's that's a cool idea. I like that idea. That was my idea. Okay, then we're gonna come over to this seat. That's our debugging. And we're gonna take a look at some, oh, you know what? You know what I forgot? I forgot that we actually have, it's gonna be spitting out water, trying to put out the fire. I don't know if this is actually gonna work, but uh, you know, it, it's it's implemented so yeah so the first time you press it it's the water tank is going to be working on the left side to put out the fire whichever one you've uh, attached and then you can select another tank or another engine hit it again and then that'll be spouting out water on engine number three right there last thing we have is something that doesn't do anything at all but it is the air filters on the b17 which you use to do ground operations, you put the filters on for the engines, and then I don't remember now, it's either above 10,000 or 8,000 to 10,000 feet, you turn them off, and then above 10,000, you turn, I don't remember. But anyways, it has these cool things where filters are on, then when you go in the air, you can go ahead and flip them, and it will turn each one off, which is just role playing. It didn't actually turn any air filters off, so that's cool. So let's go ahead and do our main and last uh, show and tell for today which is the fuel transfer system. Now this was located in the bomb bay and it wasn't quite this big in the B-17. It was actually quite small and you just had a knob and you could turn it left, turn it right. But for Stormworks, we have this. So once you turn your batteries on, you'll see that it has power. So we know that it's powered. Then what we have is three rows that let you select an engine and then you can choose whether you want to go right to left or left to right. So let's see, right now, look at the fuel tanks here. Fuel tank number two is empty. And then we've got some fuel, a lot of fuel in engine number four, because it's a big fuel tank. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna select 
tank number four. Ta-da. And then we're going to select number two. Then we're going to transfer this fuel to tank number two. So let's go ahead and do left to right, right to left, right to left, left to right. Okay, we want left to right. And then we'll do that. The pumps will go on. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's not broken. It's not broken. Okay, so what the deal is here. Let me turn this off. So what the deal is, is fuel tank number two has a feeder tank, which is right below it, so or right behind it. So there's over on this wing, over on this wing. Let's go over here. So there is a fuel tank, say right here, and there's a feeder tank back here. So the feeder tank pushes fuel into a main tank, and then it goes into the engine. Well, it doesn't work if, guess what? You don't turn on the booster pumps. I think I need to rework that so that you could actually have fuel running into there without the booster pumps because the booster pumps weren't always required to be on they were kind of like a, a a thing to prevent vapor lock which i'm not really sure how that works but that's what i read so anyways uh so if we go back here oops go back here we should see yeah fuel number two <laughs> fuel tank number two now has fuel because it emptied the feeder tank so if we go over here and go left to right, right to left. Okay, this one. We should see. Yeah. We should see. Feeder tank two. Fill up. And we'll see our empty tank. We'll see our tank emptying on the right side. So that is it. That's that's it. It works. It's it's working. So the reason I didn't use the um the, what do you call them? The small panels, these little guys, these little guys, is because I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, there is any way to actually make a button inverted so if it come over here oops uh, right here is there a way to make the button inverted i don't think so right so look like when you spawn the bomber or when you spawn your thing the small thing is inverted i don't think you can do that i didn't really spend any time trying but i don't think you can maybe if you run the composite out and composite back in and right when it well, you know what let's try that i'm curious real quick i just added some code to make the button turn true uh when it spawns i use button equals true so i think if we go ahead and hook this up do, 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 we hook our composite up to the in to the out just for fun and then if we spawn this electricity electricity uh battery 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 battery, battery, battery. Well, this is not a toggle button. Does it need to be a toggle button? No, see? I wasn't wrong. You can't do the little buttons like that. So, see, in order for that, that system to work the way I want it to, I'd want to have my top row toggled on spawn so that the you know the little buttons would be toggled. And then I'd have a button over here and a button over here. And then when you swap it, you know, you would do the different pumps. So that's how I wanted it. Um, so if we go back to the B-17. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So if we come back inside the B-17 here, you can see that on the top row, I have these toggled. So anyway, if we come back in the B-17, this top row is toggled on spawn, and then we have the three toggle states, you know, as you go and select your your tanks and your, um, you know, your pump. So, yeah, it works. We'll just leave it like that. So before we end this vlog, I just want to show you what we're probably going to be working on today and on the weekend, because I'm guessing it's not going to be easy for me, is this area right there which is the autopilot so this is where the autopilot was actually located which is kind of crazy so i guess they could reach it not the way my seats are situated but uh yeah the autopilot goes here and then we have the uh the prop pitch here oh that reminds me that autopilot will be hooked up to or how do you get down right here to this section over here which is the bombarder so on this left side he had a bunch of controls a lot of these are going to be props i guess but uh some of them like this is a bomb bay did you know i i didn't for some reason i don't know maybe it's because we just built it that way in stormworks we always you know have the pilot able to open the uh, bomb bay but apparently i haven't found any information where the pilot could open the bomb bay 
which I think is weird. I feel like there should be something. There is an emergency drop, but it doesn't say in the documentation that the pilot could open the bomb bay, which is weird, but I feel like you should be able to, right? I don't, I don't know, why am I looking at that wall? So the way it is documented is that the bombarder had a, um, a actual, uh, not a throttle, but it was a lever, and he could, you know, I don't know, have no power here. He could press this forward, and that would be what opened the bomb bay. So that's the way it's done here. There is also a light somewhere, which is not marked apparently, that tells him that the pilot wants him to drop the bombs, get rid of them, or whatever. And then this was a switch, and I think there was another switch or another another lever to drop bombs. I don't remember. I have to look at the documentation again, but. Yeah, so there we go. That's that's the props. And then over here was, I think, oxygen, I think. Oh, I know what I forgot. I don't know if this works. Does this work? No, it doesn't work. There's no power. But this is going to be, it comes down, and this is going to be the, the turret, chin turret uh, control. So it was actually kind of like on a, it looked like it was on a plastic rod. And they just kind of leaned it over there, and then he'd grab it. I don't think it actually came down. But for my... You know, B-17, it's going to come down just to let you know you're you're in that mode. You're in the turret mode. So, yeah, that'll be cool. Oh, okay. I think that's it. Let's go ahead and say goodbye. Oh, this system here. I forgot about this. So this is a CO2. CO2. It's not really CO2. It's water. But this is water on the right. Sprays that way. This is water on the left. Sprays that way. But also all this pipework over here. As you can see, we got one way here, one way there. And we got valve, valve lets the water or the co2 get redirected to the different sides of the engine which apparently i didn't fix properly because only engine number one works currently <laughs> i don't know but uh yeah so we'll fix this but this is the way it works and this is the pump system for the fuel transfer so we have a single pump here and then we have one uh two three and four valves and so when you're selecting those buttons I'll probably just release this by itself for someone if they want to use it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to think about. But you're rerouting the uh, fuel based on which valve you open and close. And the pump is just being used, a single pump, is just being used to push the uh, fuel to tank one, tank two, or tank three, tank four. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. That was made a long time ago. This was probably made about, I, I think, about two years ago. So it's old, but it works. So we're happy. And this is just some room we have under here where the bombs go. But uh, that'll be all covered up. All right. Let's just say goodbye. So that is it for today. I will have another vlog for you next week. And hopefully uh, this will be coming to a conclusion. Since we finished the F-14, I said, okay, let's do no more big projects. And then I turned around and started doing the B-17. So I don't know. We're going to get this done. And uh, then we'll do smaller projects, I think. I hope. I promise. I hope I promise. Woo! Okay, anyways, that is it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a video. I just hit my keyboard. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. Dramatic pullback? <laughs> <laughs>